Hey guys, what's up? It's Shelby and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a um like my eyeshadow palette collection for you guys. I'm going to show you guys all my eyeshadow pal palettes, my favorites, my least favorites, the ones I use, the ones I don't really use, and all of that. If you guys want to see this eyeshadow look, check out last week's video for it. And let's just go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so let's start off with my most used palette. So I keep them in a drawer in my vanity right next to me. And they are mostly all color palettes, so let's go ahead and get into these ones first. Okay, so first we have the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. As you can see, I have hit pan in several shades. I've hit pan in the pinks, the yellows, the purple, and the blue, and the green. I love this palette. I think it is awesome for your money, especially this was actually the first color palette I ever bought, and I love it so much. It is so, so, so good. I reach for this all the time and i really reached for it when it was like the only colors that i really had and like it was like the first time i ever really used like a bright pink like this this was my favorite um color in this when i first got it because i loved the pink in it and i didn't have pinks in any of my other palettes that look like that um so i really really do enjoy this especially for the price it's amazing next we have the afrique palette by juvia's place this one is not my favorite by any means but it is really good it looks like this i love the packaging on it i think it just is so beautiful but i really like this yellow shade right here and i hit pan in the blue because it it's got really terrible fallout and it is not a very good blue. I used it a lot. Like I thought it was great when I first got it because I never tried really any other blues besides the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And it was like this true blue color. But the more I started playing with colors, the more I realized this blue sucks so bad. So I don't really like this blue at all. It just blends away. Like if you just are packing a blue shade on without having to blend it or anything, it's good. But if you're trying to blend it out, it sucks. Um, I don't really use any of like the neutral shades in it and I do use the red tone right here very really often and the um, orange and like the yellow and stuff in it and I do use this green every once in a while um, and I love this shade right here this um, shimmer shade I really like that but the rest of the shades I don't really use but I do use it uh, quite a bit for like the yellow and stuff because the yellow in it is beautiful next I have the Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics I just got this palette and I've been using this pink in here um, quite a bit and I love the shade right here so i do like this palette a lot the orange in it is really gorgeous as well and so is the blue um i just haven't gotten around to use it all that often because i did just purchase it next we have what is on my eyes today the dream street caffeine lights palette i love this palette i use this palette like all the time i love the shades in it they blend beautifully and so amazing they are just like amazing for like the drugstore and stuff i love this shade i have this shade on my lids today and i love it i also love this red it is so amazing and if you mix um if you put this red down and then you put this shade after it this like darkens it up into a deeper red tone and it's so good i have these two um sister palettes this is the revolution makeup self x palettes the extra spice and the regular one the regular one i loved when i first got it i used a lot of the white shade because i do like putting white shades on my brow bone um just like matte ones i don't reach for this as often anymore the shimmers in this one aren't very good but the mattes are beautiful um i do reach for this quite a bit like i use it every once in a while but again the shimmers in it are not very good um they're not super pigmented but the mattes in it are really really good the extra spice one i prefer over the original i just like the color scheme in it better like all of these shades i use really often and i love this shade here um the black in it is also really really good and it blends out really easily i think this is a really good starter palette for somebody who wants to try out some um a little bit more bolder eye looks next i have the bh cosmetics weekend festival palette and i have hit pan in the purple and the blue i do really really enjoy this palette again i don't really use like this, these brown shades in it very often um the shimmers in this are really pretty this one right here is gorgeous it's like a almost a glitter type of a shade i don't know if you can tell but it is so so pretty i use it quite a bit on my lid i just think it is so pretty um, but yeah, this one is also really good. BH Cosmetics has a lot of good color palettes. I feel like they have a lot of, like, they know how to do their colors really well. Next, I have the Morphe X Jeffree Star Artistry Palette. I love this palette. This is actually the first Jeffree Star thing I've owned. 
um i do really like this i don't ever use this shade right here just because i don't um like glitter shades but like these shades right here are so pretty and i love these greens here um the pinks and purples do stain but most of them do the bh cosmetics ones don't but this one and the one i'm going to show you do stain um but it does tell you on the back that you know they shouldn't be used on your eyes because they do stain and this is the revolution makeup revolution patricia bright's um rich in color palette Oh, I love this. This is, I use this one probably the most often out of all of my palettes. I use every single shade in here pretty much. I love it. Again, the only shades I don't really use are Flames and Woe. I don't really use those because they are glittery, but um, the rest of them are amazing. The pink in it is gorgeous and they blend out so nicely and I love them. Alright, let's move on to the ones that I don't use very often. I keep them in this little cubby that is next to my desk. Um, let's start with these two. These are the Ulta Beauty ones. These um, came in like a box set that I got. I don't like them because of the packaging. I feel like it's really awkward and stuff, but they do work really, really nicely. They are beautiful. If you haven't seen my box videos, you can go ahead and check them out. Um, but they are really, really good. I just don't necessarily reach for them all that often because of the packaging because I feel like having to take, like, I wish it was just, like, one that I could open up where I have to take this off and stuff like that. But they are really good, and um, I do recommend them if you get them in the box. They are good if you're looking at them. Move on to these guys. These are my smaller um, neutral palettes. So I have the It's My Ray BH Cosmetics. I used to love this um, a while ago because I used to travel with it and stuff. Um, so they have like an eyeshadow palette and then they have like a bronzer and highlight up here. Um, I used to love this because I loved this, like this row right here of like pinkier colors and the black in here blends out really, really nicely. And I love the way it's set out with all of like your mattes up top and shimmers at the bottom. I find it super pleasing. Um, this highlighter right here was my favorite because it reminded me of the, um, Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter that I used to love, that I still love, but it's kind of discontinued, but it reminded me of that and I love it so much. Um, yeah, and I also used to use this bronzer shade right here because it was really light and I would mix it with a little bit with this one and it was like my perfect bronzer, but I found more bronzers that I just use more often instead of carrying this big, um, one around. Next, we're going to go on to one that I don't necessarily use all that often. Um, this is the Mattes palette from Profusion. It's the 10 shade palette. I don't really use this all that often because I have the other Mattes palette, the bigger one, and the shades in it are pretty much the same, so I don't really reach for this one specifically. I use this on clients and stuff, though. Like, if I'm doing somebody else's makeup and they want neutrals, I do use this one because it's easier to store than bringing the big one in. I have the Bad Habit Retro Love palette. I cannot wait for Bad Habit to come back because, oh, I love their palettes. I love the shade right here. It is so cool. It's like a green gold and it's so pretty on the eyes. I love this palette. This is the Subculture um, Dupe palette, but it works so, so, so good. I used this in my um, Testing Urban Decay eyeshadow primer out. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but I do like this a lot. It's got a lot of cool tones in it, and sometimes I do like a cool tone look, so if I am looking for a cool tone look, I go into this palette. We have my very first palette that I got that was, like, high-end. I remember I got the e.l.f. like, mattes palette. That was the first one, and then I got this one for Christmas. This is the Lorac Pro, um, eyeshadow palette number three, and I loved this palette so much. I still do. I think the shades in this are pretty. I mostly hold on to this for keepsakes. I feel like it's probably expired by now, but I can't get rid of it because I'm a hoarder and um yeah next we have my two morphe palettes so i have the 35o and the 35f the 35o i used to use a lot because i used to be into really like orangey um type looks and i used to do like a orange eyeshadow with like a dark lid and i used to think it was so good um and i loved this white shade because like i said i love using matte shades on my brow bone but i don't really reach for it anymore because i don't really do my eyeshadow on a daily basis anymore if i did i probably would reach for these ones more often though and the 35F is like mostly shimmer shades, so if I'm looking for a shimmer shade, I do go into this palette because they are really pretty. It's got one row of mattes and the rest are shimmer. Um, I never really liked that because I used to be super into matte shades, but if I do um, need like a shimmer and I'm looking for one, I go into this palette because I know that it probably has a shimmer shade that I'm looking for. And I have my three Pro Vision palettes, so I have the Berries palette, which is probably my favorite. Um, I've almost hit pan in this shade. I love like this area right here and I do use some of these. This gold shade is really pretty. 
um, but I do use this one. I like the shade Nebula right here, but it doesn't blend out very nicely, but it is really, really, really pretty. Oh, I think it is really pretty, but like I said, it doesn't blend out very nicely, so I don't use it very often. And then we have the Sultry palette. This one I don't use very often just because it's not my favorite, um, but again, it does have some cooler tones in it, so if I'm looking for cool tones or like, I like these like, um blue shimmers and light green shimmers and stuff i will use it for that and the black in it is really good um and again it does have a matte white shade so i did use that quite a bit but it is not my favorite out of the three and then we have the profusion mattes palette this one is probably my sec this one's my second favorite uh this was the first one i got and i love all of like these warm shades right here this pink is really good but it's not as good as the one in the berries palette the black in this is nice and i like that it has a gray in it um and again it does have a matte white shade so i do really really like this i do use this one a lot and the first um more expensive palette i ever bought myself the jaclyn hill morphe palette um as you can see it has taken its toll um, I use this a lot for SFX makeup because I love these red shades and this purple shade up here for SFX makeup, but I do really like the warm tones in it. I take this on dance competitions all the time just because I know it's good and I know that it blends out and wears nicely, so, because you do have to do really smoky looks for it, so this black right here is super nice and I just know they blend out really, really nicely and I do love this palette. Alright, moving on to some color palettes that I don't use so often. So first I have the NYX Ultimate Edit eyeshadow palette. This is the colored one. I don't know if it has a name, but let's see. Yeah, this is the Brights one. Um, This one is nice. This is not very yellow. It's more orange. This, These shades are pretty and the blue in this kind of sucks and this one isn't very pigmented, but they are super, super um nice like the rest of the shades are i do like them but i've just found other ones that i reach for more that work better so i haven't really used this and i got this for christmas this year and they're all shimmer so i don't really use them all that often this is the mary kate um sunset beach like trio um it's they are pretty like the shades in it are gorgeous are pretty nice like this one you can't see this one's all right and this one's pretty like a dull pastel pink um they aren't bad like i said i just don't really use shimmer shades like that um the next one i have i don't necessarily use very often again this is the pac-man collection from wet n wild um they are pretty don't get me wrong um this yellow is really nice but these bl this blue blends away this one is really nice this pink does stay in along with the purple um, but again, that's pretty common for pinks and purples, but they are really pretty and I do like them. I do reach for them every once in a while, but not as often as other palettes. Next, I have the Bad Habit Athena palette. Um, I love this palette. I just don't use it that much anymore, but as you can see, I love the purple in this. I also love the shimmers in this. They are so unique. Again, I don't use Daring because it is a pressed glitter and I don't like glitters. This palette is awesome. I really want to reach for it more because now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh my god, I could do this, this, and that. Um, but the glitters in it are so cool. They're all like duo chromey. Um, I cannot wait for Bad Habit to come back. <laughs> we have one that I don't really like. This is the Profusion Spectrum palette. They all kind of suck, not gonna lie. The only ones in it are like the orange and like red and like these ones, but like these blues and stuff, they're not very good at all. And that's mostly what I got them for, but I do keep it because my little cousin likes to play with my makeup. So I give her this one because I know I don't really like it. And if she ruins it, I'm not going to be all that sad. <laughs> And speaking of a palette that does the exact same thing that I was just talking about, because this one sucks so much, but this is the Colorspell Atlantis palette. Um, I thought it was, it looked cool, it looked pretty, but the shades in it really suck ass. Like, there is no pigment to them at all whatsoever. Um, like, they are, like, they feel so soft when you, like, swatch them and stuff, and they swatch decently. But then you put them on your eyes and like nothing shows. I'm pretty sure I did a review on this. But again, I keep this because my little cousin and my niece love playing with my makeup. So I give them those palettes because it was like $3. And I was like, oh, it looks so nice and it feels so nice for $3. But it's ass. <laughs> but that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want to see next down below. Don't forget to follow my social medias. They are all linked down below as well. I post on Mondays and Thursdays at 1.30 Central Time. And I will see you guys in my next video.